Hello, welcome to this Computer Weekly video in association with HP. I'm Brian Glick, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Computer Weekly, and I'm here talking to some experts from, from HP about some of the key issues that are facing IT leaders today. I'm joined in this video by Richard Noakes. Richard is a, an industry consultant for the utilities industry for HP across Europe, and we're talking about one of the, the biggest issues facing utilities industries across Europe, uh, and indeed uh, every user of, of energy across Europe, and that's smart meters. Um, Richard, thanks very much for coming along and joining us today. Pleasure much appreciated. Um, now, we, we're, we're increasingly seeing a, a lot about smart meters, uh, even in the national press now. It's becoming a very high-profile issue. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about the background and why this has become such a big topic in the UK and, and across Europe. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so, uh, the, the main driver for this is a uh, European directive, um, which is aimed at reducing our carbon footprint, uh, and that sets some objectives, um, such as uh, by the year 2020, um, we should be reducing our consumption by 20% and we should have uh, at least 20% of our energy generated through a renewable source such as solar or, or wind. Um, so uh, the UK government uh, is uh, uh, working to those objectives as well uh, and as part of that is mandating the, the rollout of smart meters to over 90% of our uh, homes by the year 2020. So it's a 2020 objective. Uh, very easy to remember. Um, so, uh, in, in terms of the UK, uh, I guess there are three sort of uh, perspectives to, to you can you can uh, view this through. One is uh, from a regulatory perspective; those objectives I, I mentioned earlier. Uh, second is the consumer objective, uh, and you know, the consumers uh, are clearly have a big role to play here because you know, we have to reduce consumption to meet the objective. Mm -hmm. So, so a big stakeholder. Uh, and um, uh, the uh, relationship between the consumer and the supplier, the energy supplier, is, is you know, critical there. Mm -hmm. uh, and the third lens really is the supplier as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, from their own business planning perspective, uh, how do they uh, you know, plan for quite a, a transformation in the industry? Mm -hmm. So that over the next sort of, uh, five to ten years, it's, it's a significant change. Probably the big, one of the biggest changes since the late 90s when... Uh, the market was liberalised. Mm. So, um, so it's, it's uh, been driven by the, by the EU uh, for all good, good solid reasons, mm. uh, saving the planet, um, uh, but clearly uh, a number of challenges for the uh, suppliers in the, in the UK. Mm. How do they uh, uh, plan for the investment, because uh, it's obviously very expensive to install all, all the meters, mm. uh, and how do they um, actually uh, realise some, some benefit from that as well? Mm. I mean, you know, th this is at its heart a a massive technology rollout. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, you know. So you know. What, what, what does what does actually mean in practice for for, for the energy companies and and yep. um, you know how are they approaching such a big challenging sure. project? So uh, as you can imagine, this is this is a project that will last until 2020. So it mm. is a huge uh, uh, program of work, uh, very technology based for sure. So uh, we're we're looking at uh, uh, massive networks um, in terms of the numbers of uh, uh, devices that need to be managed. Uh, and it, it isn't something you can do uh, very quickly without any uh, piloting and trialling. And, mm. and, and so far, um, majority of the, uh, the work that's been done in the UK to date has been around about trialling the technology um, and some of the related business processes, particularly around uh, what's called the meter to cash process. Mm. So taking information from a smart meter automatically and using that as a, as a <coughs> for billing purposes. Yeah. So those trials of, of uh, uh, pretty well completed now, uh, and the government is now setting dates for when uh, it'll be mandated that the suppliers actually roll out in volume, and that, that's going to be around about uh, 2014. And the, the government's taking a role in this as well, in terms of, of there's a, a special organisation being set up to uh, sort of act as a central shared services body. That's right, isn't there? Yes. So the way the government is approaching this is instead of every single um, uh, supplier, energy supplier, building their own network. Uh, they're going to build the network once, uh, and a company will be set up to to run that network. So it's a it's a shared service, um, central shared service, uh, that I think we've talked about in other uh, videos. Yeah. Um, so it's one in the th very similar model, uh, and the, the government will mandate that the suppliers will actually get information from the meters and c um, push information like new tariffs to the meters through that network. So it's it's currently called the DCC, uh, Data Communications Company. Uh, and uh, that company will be appointed and licensed um, in the next sort of 12 months or so. 
Okay. We've seen already that some, some of the big utility firms are already starting on their rollout, even yes. you know, getting in ahead of the formation of this, this organisation, the That's DCC. Right. Okay. Uh, how, are the, how are they dealing with that then? Is, is, there a, is there a risk involved in that? Well, certainly, yes. There are technology risks uh, because the, the government is uh, undertaking a process of, of establishing the standards, the metering standards, mm. uh, because uh, historically meters uh, have been quite proprietary. Um, but there is a UK standard being being uh, uh, developed, and uh, we're quite close now to, to having that standard uh, agreed within the industry in the UK. Um, so, so, <coughs> so they are, are running that process, uh, and uh, that uh, w when the standard is agreed, then all the meters that to be deployed in the future will have to meet that standard. So, meters that are being deployed today, uh, there is a risk, and, and it's uh, it's called a, 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 a stranding risk. Where those meters, existing meters, are stranded, um, uh, and different co retail companies are taking different approaches to that. They're, where they're rolling out meters today, they're trying to ensure that the uh, the meter can be software upgraded through firmware upgrade to actually meet the standard. Mm. Okay, and, and clearly they're uh, involved in the definition of the standards as well. Okay. Uh, as, once these smart meters are, are rolled out to, to, to us as individuals and, and to businesses, yeah. they're going to generate enormous amounts of information yes. about, about how we use energy on a, on a minute by minute, day by day, day, yes. by day basis. Yes. You know, managing all that data and, and making sense of that data has got to be a huge challenge for the energy companies. Uh, it will be. <clears throat> it's, it's a challenge that um, I think other industries have, have faced in the past, uh, particularly in telco. Uh, and what we see is... Uh, um, uh, the utilities are starting to, to hire people from other industries who've, who've actually addressed this in the past, financial services in particular, uh, and, and particularly because they're, they're, they're consumer-based organisations, they uh, have looked for people who understand how to manage consumers, consumer data, uh, and uh, you know, those skills are, are now sort of, you can see in, in quite a number of the suppliers, those skills are being brought on board. Um, but the, uh, uh, th this is a... Uh, 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 quite a significant challenge, uh, and, and I think the uh, the focus to date has been around the, do the bits fit together and do they work technically. Mm -hmm. There's now a s distinct shift towards okay, now we're going to get this data. What are we going to do with it, and and how are we going to monetize it? How can we turn the investment, this huge investment this 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 country is making, and you know, many billions of pounds are going to be invested? How do we turn that in, into value? Um, and different energy suppliers are taking different approaches to that. Yeah, you know, perhaps you give me some examples from you know, don't necessarily name them, but some, no. some of the organisations <coughs> that, that you're aware of or that you're working with, and how, how they're going about yes. tackling some of those challenges. Yes. So, so a good comparison. The, the two that I'm familiar with. Uh, one one organisation is taking information uh, from the meter every half hour. Okay. So. Uh, the, the information is actually transmitted once a day, <coughs> but it's a, in effect a half hourly meter read. Yeah? Uh, another organization, that, that's for all their customers, all their meters. Another organization will just do that for a percentage yeah, of, of the meters, um, and uh, but a small percentage. Uh, and uh, the rest of the, of the meters will just take uh, maybe a monthly or quarterly read. So, so different approaches, and it, it indicates a different... Um, uh, way of uh, planning the, the, the way that information is going to be used um, uh, to improve the customer experience, uh, which I think is, we have to keep going back to that. You know, we won't meet our objectives unless the consumers actually buy into this. Yeah? Uh, and also, obviously, from a business operational point of view and a business planning point of view, in, improve the, the profitability of, of the business as well. Mm. No, it, it is still very early days in the roll in, in the rollout, and yeah. different utility companies are at different stages of their rollout. But mm. for someone watching this who, who, who's at the, at, at the early stages, yes. you know, fr from your experience of the market, and I guess from what you've seen, you know, more broadly around Europe as yes. well, yes. you know, if there's, you know, one or two top tips, most important considerations of this early stages that you yes. would you would advise people to think about, what would they yes. be? I, th I think uh, the number one goes back to, to the previous point, which is. Um, you know, your, those utility companies, the, the retail businesses are, are, from a regulatory point of view, they are mandated to do this. They are mandated to spend the money. So it's really to, to focus on how are you going to exploit that? How are you going to benefit the business? Uh, and a very simple question, this, this sounds very, very simple, yeah, but I think just to make the point, um, the question to start with is how often are you going to read those meters? Yes? Do you want that information every half hour? You know, 48 reads a day. Um, do you want to take that information once a month or, or once a quarter? 
uh, because you know, the more information you take, the more it's going to cost. Yes, mm -hmm. and and take that question to the business. So, if I had information every half hour about the consumer, what value would would you, you know, from a market, you know, marketing perspective, from an operational perspective, what value does that bring to you? Uh, and 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 work top down, understand what the business is going to benefit, how that's going to benefit, and then make the decision about you know, how many meters you're going to read. Every half an hour, every how many once a day, or how many once once a month, and, and link the the business planning to the, the technology implementation. Yeah. Uh, if if we don't do that, then there's there's the risk of having significant costs, just in in you know, collect you know, the network costs of collecting data, uh, uh, large amounts of data, and then the information management costs of managing all that data. Mm. Uh, in a sensible way that the business can use. So it's 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 a simple question, um, but I think it just makes the point that that you know just because you can read a meter every half an hour doesn't mean to say you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you know, it's it's a really interesting project. Something that's going to affect all of us. It is over over, over, over the next ten years. Yes. Um, thanks very much for taking the time and for, and for your advice, Richard. Very much appreciated. Thanks for coming along. Um, that's all we've got time for on this video. Uh, I've been talking to Richard Noakes from HP about uh, some of the issues for utility companies as they start to roll out smart meters, uh, both in the UK and, and across Europe. Um, thanks very much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful. See you on another video one day soon. Bye-bye.